Hello everyone, thanks for joining me again for another episode of Build a Better Business in 5 Minutes or Less. I'm your host, Jim Coppinger uh, from Zentech Consultants, and as always, I'm going to try and give you some important information on making your business a better place, and I'm going to start my little 5 minute timer there, and hopefully that will uh, keep me from talking too much, which I have a tendency to do. So, um, So let's jump into it today and talk about our topic. So today's topic is going to be on PDFs. Uh, particularly on working with static versus dynamic PDF files. Now, I'll tell you a real quick story here about uh, the difference in the importance between a static and a dynamic PDF file. Um, static files are the types of files that you get all the time. People scan them or they're flat PDF documents where you're expected to fill things out on your own by hand, by pen, uh, versus a dynamic PDF, which is a really powerful tool for client interaction. Okay, we have uh, fillable forms and so on. We'll talk about those in just a minute. But just to, to bring it into perspective for you, uh, I'm a small business owner, so I recently had to um, sign an insurance policy and I got quotes from two different insurance agencies. And the quotes were very close, uh, close, excuse me, in, in, in price point. And I'll be perfectly honest with you when I tell you that what made the absolute difference for me and making decision as to which insurance carrier I was going to go with is that one sent me a static PDF form, 16 pages, that I was going to have to print out and you know fill out by hand and sign is going to take me you know 25 minutes to do. Um, the other one sent me a dynamic PDF form. He had actually taken and put on forms I could just sit here on screen and type in what I needed. Well, he's the guy who got my business simply because he sent me a dynamic PDF form. So let's take a quick look at this and talk about what is a dynamic PDF form. Well, so let's start with static, right? So this guy, this is something you guys might get all the time. Um, it's just a PDF form and you notice that there really isn't much going on here in, in terms of I can't type on it, um, I can't fill out any forms, everything is just kind of background images. It's a flat form. So normally what I wind up doing with this is one of two things. Uh, most people will print this out and fill it out by hand, then scan it back in and send it in. Um, and that's what you're kind of stuck doing if all you have is a PDF viewer. Um, if you're lucky enough to have a PDF editor like um, uh, Bluebeam Review, which is what I have here on screen, I can go in and do things like fill it out you know, using the typewriter tool or different text box features and so on. But it's still a little bit of a, t uh, of a pain because I have to try and align those things. Right? So I go in and I type, uh, you know, today's date, whatever it is, you know, 1111. Um, and then I come over here and I type something different, you know, for the RFI number, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. You notice they don't really align. Okay, I can wind up with things that sometimes look, you know, from Jim and then to, you know, and you see everything's a little bit off. It looks sloppy and unprofessional and I still have to take time and line things up, uh, particularly if I start typing in longer descriptions. All right, so that's the, the limitation to a static PDF and it's a sure way to aggravate your customers. So why do it, right? So more importantly, what I like to do, I'm going to take and I'm going to open up a dynamic RFI, which is the exact same form. But what I've done is I use Bluebeam Review to convert this into a dynamic form. So when people come in here and start typing things, right now they're coming in and they're filling out the exact information. Okay, whatever it is you need to put in. Who is it from? It's from Jim Coppinger, right? Not only that, when I have a dynamic form, you see that I'm not just limited to text fields. I can actually go in and I can create my own custom drop downs. So I can say, hey, you know, I want you to specify who this RFI is going to. Oh, it's going, you know, it's for Acme Engineering, it's for ABC Architects. Right? I can put in check boxes, radio boxes, any, any kind of text control field, um, whether it's a design verification or field issue. See, I make them mutually exclusive. I can go in and I can start typing text and I can hit enter and I can control formatting and font. So all of the information that you're going to want to get back from your customers, including being able to go in and add digital signatures for actual record keeping of who signed and did what. These are invaluable tools and they're an absolute must. If you're sending PDFs in any way, shape or form to clients or vendors, this is where you need to be. You need to have some type of a PDF creation tool like Bluebeam or one of the others on the market that will give you the ability to create dynamic PDFs. And having said that, that's all I wanted to talk to you about today. So I see I got a, about 30 seconds left, so thank you guys again. All right, and I'm gonna pause here and I'm just gonna remind you that um, 
at any time you have any uh, questions, thoughts, or comments on what we can do, particularly with the things we've showed in these uh, little videos, please reach out to me at any point. Thanks a lot, folks, and I hope you all have a great day.